a lovely sunny Sunday morning, as you can see outside. I'm going somewhere a little bit special today. Uh, I've just arrived at Land Rover Jaguar and I'm going to test drive the new Jaguar I-Pace Electric. About to go in for um, the test drive of the I-Pace, the Jaguar I-Pace All Electric. We're at um, Jaguar Land Rover Grange in Hatfield in Hertfordshire in the UK. A little bit late in getting to the test drive because um, somebody forgot the keys to the actual garage, which is uh, which was hilarious. Uh, I must say though, just a big shout before I get into the uh, review to them, to the Grange. I'll put a link to their website uh, below. The the chap that um, took me round, Amir, absolutely brilliant, very knowledgeable, knew stuff about the I-Pace, had been living with the I-Pace for a while as well. So not just walking into a garage and somebody's just treating it like a, a normal, um, normalized car. So just been out in the uh, the iPace test drive. Wow, um, amazing, amazing car. So granted, I only drive a BMW i3, and I've driven uh, I've driven a Tesla, I've driven a Leaf, and driven quite a few other electric cars. So I suppose compare between um, between cars, but I've got to say I'm very very impressed. Real world range that um, the chap said he was getting around 200, 220, and that's a mix of motorway and uh, just normal driving, normal road driving. So that's really encouraging to to, to hear, and and he's telling me real world rather than um, rather than you know what you see in the press and what you see in um, their advertisements. Um, the quality inside, as you'll see in the pictures here. Um, it was just as you'd expect from Jaguar, absolutely amazing quality. Um, the uh, the interior, the uh, attention to detail, um, you know, down to the, the it's kind of stitching on on the uh, on the seals around the around the dashboard. The touch screens were really responsive, um, as you'd um, as you'd hope. Nice big screens, big screen in uh, the top, big screen in the center console, as well as in front of you. Heads up display, which I'd noticed obviously when I was when I was driving, that was brilliant. It wasn't in the way, it was just at the right level. Um, I can only hope that other car manufacturers take that on board and, and run with that moving forward. Everything was just easy to use and, and 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 go with. I especially liked actually the drive, reverse and neutron park in the centre console down near your left hand rather than like the I the I3 has, which is on the on the kind of uh, near the steering wheel. Um, maybe just a personal preference, but um, yeah, great nonetheless. Looking around the interior of the car, um, it was again absolutely brilliant. Um, plenty enough space um, in terms of you know if you've got family and things like that. Big wise, you know, it's not the biggest, but at the same time, neither is mine. So I've never found boot space on my three a problem. So I doubt if I'd find um, that problem in the um, the Jaguar I Pace. Price wise, obviously. Um, 60 grand upwards car um, there is a I think there's two versions there's an SE so would I buy one um, if I if I had the money then yeah quite possibly 200 mile range to me is absolutely fine I don't see the need for much more than that um, and you compare it to a Tesla now I love Teslas I, I love the Tesla cars I think they're absolutely brilliant what they do um, the difference for me though is the almost like the quality. Now this is not to um, annoy Tesla owners and like the quality is there for Tesla cars, but in terms of the interior and things like that, Tesla are still learning. Um, I love the fact that they've taken away a lot of everything and they've put a, like a, a just a screen, and I think that's definitely the way to go. And I absolutely love that. I think the difference is with with Jaguar is like the the Jaguar heritage in terms of how they've built interiors and cars and that quality definitely shines through. Uh, and if I was going to compare the two just on that, I think the Jaguar I-Pace would, would win outright. Um, obviously, Tesla is a different kind of company, so um, Jaguar are probably still fighting with old ways and converting to electric and things like that. 
but it seems like they're getting there and they seem like they, they get it, they understand it. Um, you're never going to get a cheap Jaguar, let's face it. You know, it's always going to be a reasonably priced car, you know, 60 grand upwards at least, um, but you're paying for the quality. Um, I feel that you're paying a little bit more for a Tesla, you know, um, 80, 90 grand in some cases. Obviously, second hand, you can get you can get some reasonably priced ones, and they're more than good enough. So, um, personally, if I had two side by side, and they were similar sort of prices, I'd probably go for the Jaguar I Pace. In all honesty, and I think you know comparing um, the Jaguar I Pace to the Tesla is probably quite fair. They're probably the two main predominant ones out with high performance electric cars at the moment. Um, you know, Jaguar I Pace is not in the same league as say a Nissan Leaf. You know, it's a different price range. It's a different quality. I think. Um, don't get me wrong, Jaguar I Pace probably isn't isn't perfect. I, I only had a twenty minute drive in it, so you know I, I'm I'm certainly not an expert on it. But my thoughts and impressions think this car is amazing. Performance on motorway, performance on back roads, brilliant. Uh, motorway, absolutely no problem. It just did not struggle whatsoever. Uh, and going around just normal kind of uh, everyday roads, handled that really well. The 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 tight handling that the car's got and the just the build quality and everything around it just just feels good. Um, it feels right. The eye pace, the eye pace just was planted. It was just very planted in the road. So you put your foot down, even in uh, today where it's a bit wet weather on the roads, um, that just just flew past. It had no problem whatsoever. Um, so obviously charge speeds as well. I think it's well documented, but. Um, the uh, the car's got 100 uh, kilowatt um, uh, capacity in, in in terms of how you can charge it and the speed you can charge it at. I think they said something like 80% in about 40 minutes. Now, bear in mind it's a bigger battery, so you're going to have slightly longer uh, charge times and things like that. But um, yeah, that that's a, a good addition. Um, the the charge point um, being at the the front of the car um, on the left hand on yeah the left hand side of the uh, of the car. Um, a personal preference I, I like that better I like driving into somewhere and, and charging rather than um, the other back like mine I like a normal uh, petrol car uh, the car seemed a little bit higher as well than most that I've driven so it this it does feel you know there's more comfort there's more things like that but it felt like it was uh, it was raised up more than um, the normal cars um, and certainly normal electric cars that I've, that I've driven. That's my test drive and my uh, a review, I suppose, of the uh, Jaguar I-Pace. Brilliant car, spectacular. If you can afford to get one, personally, I would highly recommend it. I think uh, Jaguar is uh, definitely leading the way in many ways. I think um, it's still playing catch up with a lot of Tesla and, uh, and, and people like that, but um, I don't think it'd be long. They've got enough money to push, uh, push forward. And, Hopefully they do, hopefully they, they push um, the iPace and whatever comes next from the iPace um, as electric and be in the way so forward. Well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, um, please check out all my other videos uh, and um, have yourself a really good day and I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers, bye.